engaged Tiffany. He fired a total of 12 rounds, um, striking her 10 times before she stopped. Des Moines police released new details in a 2017 officer involved shooting along with dramatic body camera footage. The video shows the moments leading up to the 29 year old Tiffany Potter's death, including the moment she fired a handgun. KCCI's Hannah Hilliard is live at the police uh, uh, department this afternoon. So Hannah, what is the latest? Rhea, it has been more than six months since this shooting took place, but because of investigations, police are just now able to fill in some of those gaps of what led up to that July 5th sh officer involved shooting that killed Tiffany Potter. Now, the video that was released just shows how quick this all went down that night. In just a matter of seconds, Potter is seen running from her vehicle and firing one round from her handgun. That's when Officer Brandon Holton fires his gun 12 times, hitting Potter. 10 times all below the waist and she ultimately died at the hospital. Two other officers responded with Holton that night, Officer Brady Pratt and Brian Buck. Our investigation took a while, but I mean it came to the conclusion that you know it, this was necessary, um, it was appropriate and it was within the guidelines of our policy. Now, all three officers were immediately placed on administrative leave following that night, but they are all now back at work here at the Des Moines Police Department. Now, uh, it was back in October that a grand jury decided not to indict these three officers. Now, coming up tonight at five and six, we'll tell you more of that timeline on July 5th, including why the three officers were even going to approach Potter in the first place. But for now, reporting live in Des Moines, Hannah Hilliard, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.